Well, we've been talking about the Dallas Cowboys going to the playoffs all season long. Turns out that will be a reality. The Cowboys, NFC East champs for the first time since 2018. Let's get into it with Nick Eatman. Covers the Cowboys and has for the last couple of decades for the team's website. I am Adam Kaufman. Nick, of course, one game left in the regular season, and that is against an Eagles team that your guys absolutely throttled by 20 points back in September. Thing is, again, that was September. So does that game then mean anything now? Well, I I think it means some, uh, you know, just because Philadelphia, they're playing better. I don't know if they've changed, you know, a ton of what what they're doing. And so, yeah, I I think that from from that game and and, and the way they were able to force, you know, Jalen Hurts to to throw the ball and uh, get rattled a little bit. But but since then, you know, Philly's changed. They've run they're running it better. Uh, now they've kind of changed the way that their style. So I, you know, I'm sure that Philly will say they're a different team. Um, they haven't beaten a team with a winning record, so it, it's hard to kind of say that that they've turned the corner. I think that they've gotten above average and they're beating some of those other teams. But you know, we'll see what happens when when they face a team that's you know, Cowboys are are, are better than than the teams that they've been uh, beating. This latest loss against the Cardinals last time out at home, it ended a four-game winning streak, so that's, you know, the one end of things. On the other, of course, it's a possible playoff matchup that we could be seeing in another couple weeks, so that potential preview we'll have time to get into, obviously, in the days and weeks to come. But the biggest news to come out of that game, specifically the loss of Michael Gallup, again, this time permanently for the rest of the season, the torn ACL. He's only played nine games this year, so the Cowboys have been used to him not being on the field. That being said... How big a loss is this for Dallas? I think it's a big loss because he he's the guy that has has made the most contested catches um, of the of the season. I mean, he he may not be your fastest or most dynamic or whatever, but when it comes to sideline catches or back of the end zone or just anything, I mean, he he made a, a catch with his torn ACL. You know, he tore his ACL before he turned and spun and made the catch. So his concentration on the sideline has been outstanding. And, you know, they're not getting a lot of separation, but the receivers aren't. So you're going to have to throw it. These guys are going to have to make plays. And he's he's been the guy, I think, that's made the, the most plays when it comes to crowds and, and, and you know, being covered. So uh, I think it's going to be a, a big loss. Cedric Wilson's a good player, and he's he's been very versatile. So I, I think they'll, they'll be fine. But, I, yeah, I do think it's a big loss. He was starting to kind of come into his own again, Michael Gallup was. You mentioned Cedric Wilson. Obviously, he's the one that had the enhanced workload with Michael Gallup out the first time around earlier this year. And Wilson did have some big games to his credit as well. Does he just automatically slide right into that third wide receiver role? Yes, he does. And and, and the thing about um, Wilson is that he's probably gotten the most work with Dak off the field. There's been a lot of stories written about how last two years, you know, Dak put a football yard, uh, field in his backyard, you know, they call it Dak yard football. And, and Wilson, I think was, was a regular every time there. And, and you see that report with them on the field. I mean, you know, just kind of when plays break down, I think, I think Wilson has a good understanding of where he needs to be sit in the zone and all that stuff. And, and Dak, you know, has a lot of uh, trust in him. So I don't think they're going to miss much there. And, and, and he, he's got versatility. You know, he throws passes now. You know, he does things. So um, he, he's a good player. And, you know, he's better than a lot of teams' third receivers, I, I think. So they're not going to miss a lot. But, but I do think, you know, Gallup was starting to really come into his own. Micah Parsons' top draft pick, obviously, for Dallas has been one of the best defensive players in the NFL this season among rookies. And, you know, he's right there in the company with some of the top defensive guys in general, quite frankly. He is now seemingly unavailable this weekend. He's been placed on the COVID list. We'll see how all of this plays out, obviously. But how big a loss is he, presuming he's not on the field? He's huge. I mean, that, that, he's, he's a huge loss if, if he's not able to play in, in that game or any game, um, you know, if it's it's going to happen. I mean, you, you probably want your best defensive player to, to miss this game, which, which, you know, there's debate on whether or not he was going to play a lot anyways. Um, you know, but him coming back to Philadelphia, coming back to Pennsylvania where he's from that area and closest to home. And uh, yeah, I'm sure he was, he was excited about returning and, and going to that game. So, um, but you know, as, you know, as it stands that they announced it, you know, on, on uh, Wednesday and he entered the protocols. And so there's so many different things, whether he was close contact or, or test positive or whatever. So I, you know, it probably 
doesn't help that they move the game from Sunday to Saturday from his perspective. But again, we'll see how it all plays out. Nobody's ruling him out of the game um, just yet, but it doesn't seem that likely considering he was probably not going to play the whole time anyways. Dallas three and four this year, Nick, against teams with a winning record. The last time came in New England back in October. So obviously it's been a little while. As we know, the offense has really been inconsistent in the second half of the year. Defense has been a little up and down. Nothing basically went right against Arizona last time out. A lot of penalties again. Dallas has been kind of afflicted by that at points this year. So what's the key to just finding some consistency here in time for the playoffs? Well, I mean, this team just needs to – I mean – they need to figure out kind of how to win games. And I know that sounds really cliche, but, but they, they're not, it's a tough team to figure out because nothing is perfect. Nothing is terrible. Hmm. It's just that they're, they're, they're solid. They're, they're, you know, in some areas above average in others. And so it's hard when you can't count on anything, you know, you can't just say the passing game will be there or the running game will be there or the defense. I mean, We'll get turnovers because we thought that was kind of the case and nothing is, is, is at that point. So you're just kind of leery of a lot of things, even though you've seen everybody play at a top level. It, it's a it's a good team, but it's tricky to evaluate because based off the matchup and all that, they they might not, you know, they might get to the playoffs and, and it may be a disappointing thing. They could make a run. It, it's I mean I'm throwing all every scenario out there, but that's what we've seen for this team. That's we've seen Dak play like an MVP candidate. We've seen Dak play like, should they draft a quarterback next year? I mean, we've seen it all. We've seen this huge mm-hmm. scope and it's, it's really tough. So um, they, you know, I don't think you can get much out of this game. I think they're just going to try to get through it, survive, don't have a lot of injuries and, and get yourself ready because you can make the case all you want to about, well, they need to play and get some momentum. Well, I mean, what did momentum give them against the Cardinals? They had won four in a row, and they go to Arizona and looked like they had never played before for a while. So um, I don't know if momentum carries over much. When you get in that playoff game, they should be jacked up for whoever and whenever it is. Eagles Saturday night, that's the next challenge to wrap up the regular season. One thing I can always count on, and that is talking to Nick Eatman about the Cowboys. Nick, thank you very much. Happy New Year, sir. All right. Thanks. Appreciate it. You too.